Hey guys, Rick from Stone and Sarah back in our video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Don Diablo style drop. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a Don Diablo style drop. So we will go over key elements as the wobble synths, the vocal chops, drums, the vocal effects, and much more. So let's get it started. First, let's set the BPM to 126. Now let's write a piano chord. The track will be in A minor. We're going to start off with the bottom notes of the chords. We'll be making a slight variation to the second part of the chords. The bottom chords will sound like this. Now let's turn it quickly into a full progression. Sounding like this. A key part of the Don Diablo sound is the vocoder vocal in the build up, sounding like this. So first, let's find a vocal on Splice. Head over to Sharma's, sorted by a house, vocals, hooks, and female. Let's listen to the first one. Oh yeah, you know I really want this you. This actually know sounds dope. Really need your love. Let's go with this one. Now let's drop it oh in yeah. a file. And add a vocoder, add the new MIDI out, set it to port 1, and paste the chords. We'll be using vocal synth for the vocoder effect. Set vocal synth to MIDI. Then route it to port 1 as well. We'll be using this preset. Sounding like this. Let's lower down the mix a little bit. Now let's add some more effects. Now we're gonna fill up the build some more. Now let's make the drum fill, starting with a cowbell, then add a high vocal, focus shots. Then we're gonna add the last two automations. So first we add this end the smile automation, then we slowly cut out the lows in the build up. This will make the drop hit harder. All together sounding like this. Now let's add the drop drums, starting with a kick drum, then add the claps. Together the claps sound like this. We're adding its closed hi-hat and snare for some more groove. Altogether the drums will sound like this. Let's add some more effects on the drum bass. So other presets we'll be using in this video are coming from the pack Hex Sounds. Right now it's on a discount, so if you want to make this type of music, make sure to check it out. We'll be using this preset from the pack. First, copy over the main chords. Now let's make them a little bit different.
morning like this. Let's layer it with this sound. So copy over the chorus. And we're gonna add some effects. Now we're gonna create the rhythm of the chords with the LFO. We'll be automating the LFO. I came up with this rhythm. Now we need to make it a little bit more interesting. Let's start with automating the pitch of the chords. Just let the pitch come up when the chords start playing. Now we'll be adding a tape stop effect sounding like this. With an automation, it will sound like this. The last element we add to the leads is this preset from the pack. Just copy over the top part of the chords. Together the leads will sound like this. A key element of the Daniablo style drop is the drop piano. We'll be using the piano from the breakdown. But then with the rhythm of the LFO chords. Just make the same chords with it. Afterwards, we're gonna add some sidechain. So the piano will sound like this. For the main bass, we'll be using this preset. Sounding like this. We'll be using the root notes of the chords. Now let's mix the bass some more. Now let's add some more synth shots, like this FM bass. And a brass tap. Together sounding like this. Let's make another fill with a brass. Sounding like this. Now let's add a last synth fill. We'll be using this preset from the pack. It's just gonna be a single note fill sounding like this. Altogether the bass and synth shots will sound like this. Now it's time to fill it up some more. Air candy is an essential part to make it sound more interesting. The last step of the Dan Diablo style drop oh is the focal yeah. chop. We'll be cutting up the focus oh yeah. with slice sex. Drag it in and select out the slice. Now let's make a small melody with it. This sounds cool. Now let's process it. In the track, it sounds like this. Now it's time to check out the final result we made. So if you like the video, please hit like and see more at the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next videos.